Hey, good evening, Patrick. How are you tonight? <laughs> I'm doing all right. I am doing okay. We are back for the final scenario. Can you believe it? Four long months and all the basic scenarios. We have arrived I, at the end. Can I make a quick comment? Sure. It has not been long for me. It has gone fast. It does seem like it has. You know. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's been four months playing these, despite the fact we've had some gaps. I mean, yeah, I think we took time. two weeks off in, in told. So yeah. I, I think it's 16 weeks all told with the, the previous seven scenarios. Yeah, so four months. This has been a really, uh, if you're new to the series, this is a good place to step in, I think, with this, this title. It really is. A lot of good variety and a lot of very competitive scenarios. It is. And if you're just now jumping into this, um, it, it's funny that when we started recording these, it was it was literally two or three weeks before the physical copies were shipping. And here we are. That's now. right. Yeah. Everyone's hopefully got theirs and they've been playing them. I've been seeing reports. So if you're coming at this now at the end, that's OK. Welcome. But check out some of the other playlists and you can go back through and watch all of these different. I mean, they are so varied. I mean, we have chase scenarios and you know, the pursuit and then the retreat and the full on attacks and, and cavalry. But it's funny, we're ending back where we began here. Yes. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just south of Columbia. Same, same road, Columbia That's Pike. Right, the Columbia Pike. Uh, so we are playing scenario number eight tonight, the that devil forest. And from here, what our plan is, we are going to finish up this play. Tonight I'm taking the Union, Roger's taking the Confederacy. And we will then move on to a campaign game with scenario number nine, the Hood Strikes North full advanced campaign. And we may even play that twice, depending on uh, how it works out, because I think we both want to try it each side. I think we talked talked about. So yeah, we're uh, we're going to do that in serialized format, which is going to be great because you'll pay 25 cents and you'll get, you know, cliffhangers each and every week. Uh, well, you know, Will Wood. Pull off that grand assault. Tune in next week, viewers. That's exactly right. Will Hood make that big flank march to reach Nashville and win an automatic victory, which is interesting possibility right. in that campaign game. So that will probably take us, I think it's, uh, it's what, 32 turns. So I'm guessing that's going to take us at, at least a couple of months if we're, if we're doing a few turns each week. So that's going to be great. I, I'm, I'm very excited about it because there's just so much variety that we've seen in all of the individual set pieces. But now we get to put it all together and with all of the advanced things like, you know, burning bridges and building bridges and rain and sleet and all that good stuff. Yeah. So, you know, winter, which I think, and you have more experience with these, that I think this is new. Winter is, system. yes, winter is new. This is the first one we've ever had that wasn't in the standard campaigning season of of you know may to august or september so this is uh this is going to be a lot of uh <laughs> i don't know what to expect with sleet and snow but uh yeah. it, it awaits us so let's do as we do each and every time with the first playthrough this is scenario number eight uh that devil forest and here's the historical background the bulk of the confederate army has retreated off the south map edge toward the tennessee river Forrest commands a rear guard to slow down the pursuing Union force, which has finally crossed the Duck River in pursuit of Hood. The forces engage along the Columbia Pike on December 23rd and 24th, with the Confederates withdrawing southward late on the 24th. So, Merry Christmas Eve to the Confederates. Uh, this is a two-turn scenario, so whereas uh, scenario number one was this spot going northward, and one turn, this is just kind of in, in reverse with two turns. Uh, we only have three special rules for this one, and I hear you've got your libation too, so I've, I've got my whiskey here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go through Sorry, this. didn't mean to... No, no, I heard the, I heard the glass, so I was like, what what are you having, sir? Uh, tonight's a little bit of uh, rum with lemon. Oh, rum with lemon. Oh, we should be playing a pirate game. Arr. We should be, but it's, it's what I've got. In That's the okay. Cabinet tonight. That's all right. So our initiative tonight for scenario rule number one is, as we've seen before, uh, ties will not necessarily go to the Confederate, but uh, low ties will go to the Union. That's one, two, and three, and the high ties will go to the Confederate. Four, five, and six. Uh, on the first turn, Roger playing the Confederates will get the first free initiative. And then we will determine the initiative as normal. 
And then the only special rules pertaining to the map edge is the, the left side here, the south map edge. Confederate units can uh, retreat or route off that map edge uh, without any manpower loss or VP loss. However, once that unit or leader goes off the map, they are out of the game permanently. They do not get to come back. And if we happen to have a situation where there are flank attacks near the map edge, uh, we will refer to standard rule 7.4 regarding that. But uh, that that will come up only if, if needs be. Tonight, the very easy <laughs> i mean the union is making the the effort to get the points tonight all they have to do is uh for 15 victory points they capture either one of linville here at 0423 or the colored church at 0324 now they don't get uh 15 points for both it's either or so as long as they get one of them it has to be an infantry unit occupying it at the end of the game uh, that will be 15 points for them. And then other than that, it is the standard minus two victory points for a Union manpower loss and plus three for inflicting a Confederate manpower loss. And the marginal tonight for Union is 13 points. So that is the threshold to get a Union victory at the marginal level, 13 to 16 victory points. Um, very straightforward. The only nuance to this one is that my three cavalry or my two cavalry there uh, with Wilson and Hatch they all start at fatigue level one however Wood and all three of the infantry that struggled mightily the last two weeks to get to this point they are all fresh and ready to go uh, and Forrest and Chalmers and Buford and all of them are completely fresh as well Waffle is fresh he is the only confederate infantry unit there as a rear guard over Linville so um have you had a chance to look at this over and and what are your thoughts i looked at it a little bit this is one of those i'm sure there's a right way for the confederacy to play this and i don't know what that right way is so i'll do what i think is best here to start i may learn something very that this is not the right way to do it yeah. uh i also you know kind of going back to when we started this you know back at this at the beginning you know, we talked about this being historically, and again, you know, for those of you who aren't familiar with my approach to this, is, I do this for the experience as much as playing the game and immersion in history. Is This is like the tragedy now of George Thomas. The failure of this, of the Union historically, really gave him a black eye with Grant, and he never really got that black eye off, unfortunately. You're already, I mean, based on what I've read, there was already some, some grudging yeah. there for the last two years. He felt he was a, a do-nothing and even yeah. his even his abilities at Chickamauga could not shake that from Grant, which yeah. is really unfortunate. Yeah, I just actually was reading Peter Cousins' book on the the Battle of Chattanooga, and I just read the section where Grant, you know, he's injured, he's ridden for two days over this terrible trail, and he's all wet, and he shows up at Thomas's headquarters, and he's just sitting there with water dripping off him, and Thomas is just sitting there not doing anything to help him, and it's like. Uh, one of the staff officers for Grant steps up and says, you know, General Thomas, you know, you could use a, some dry clothing and maybe something to eat. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I probably should do that. <laughs> Just bad blood between the two of them for whatever reason. Yeah. Yep. But this kind of, I think, was the the spike in the coffin for Grant going, yeah, this guy's just not going to accomplish anything. Right. He's not going to, he doesn't have that killer instinct that I need. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see if I can, uh... yeah, it's simple, isn't it? I mean, well, I we see that. that, but we're going to look at it as two and a half hours later, and we're going, what just happened? Yeah, look at the manpower here. I think you've got, uh, I've got 11, and you've got... Uh, yeah, i got 25, 30... 33. Yeah, i got 37. 38? 37? Yeah. A little outnumbered. We'll see how we do. Well, <laughs> yeah. but it's all about timing, right? <laughs> it is, it is. Yeah, I mean, Wood, you know, part of me just thinks... I'll run off the map because Wood's not going to get there. Oh, he's going to roll eight ones. Maybe that's enough to get there. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for putting that in there because <laughs> the vassal die roller is listening to us. Well, it's Wood. You know, I mean, that's I true. think he's been a, he's been a non-entity. I think for every single game we've had, he's accomplished nothing. I don't right. think. <laughs> but this is that immediate decision process there before even the dice and everything factors into your strategy. Is are you going to try to go for points as far as Linville? you know, in the colored church, try to get the 15 or do you just right. try to take it out of their hide? And right. 
when you're doing that against cavalry, they're just going to dance away. So you're, you're hoping maybe you're scoring an occasional uh, a one on the cav retreat, maybe, or yep. kind of trap them unawares. It, it's, yeah, there's a lot of possibilities. And, and the same, same thing on me. If I can, do I try to take snag a couple manpower losses and run away? Your 15 points doesn't win you, win you the game. Exactly. Exactly. So on uh, on the surface, it is, oh, this is easy. And then you and I are going to find after two weeks of, wow, there's there's so much nuance to this. Yeah. It's very elegant, yep. as our Euro friends would say. Yeah. And uh, we'll see if I, like I, said, I don't know the right way to play this. I don't I'm either. sure there's a right so, way. Some, this is, this is literally my first time looking at it as well. So. Uh, we, we are coming. I love that we are coming at these with fresh eyes for the most part. I don't know how much you play these with solo, but I literally, you know, three hours before this, go, oh, that's pretty cool. So I, I I've really kind of stopped playing them solo because I don't know what you're gonna do. Oh, good. <laughs> good. I'm tired of guessing as to what you're gonna try to do because I'm guessing so badly that it's like, okay, I'm making this you know, episode. For a go. while, I thought, okay, I'm, I can know Patrick's dance moves. I was like, oh no. Oh, I do not, because you come. It's like, okay, he is gonna assault straight on this time. <laughs> he is gonna. Anyway, um, well, good luck. I, yeah. I think this is gonna be a. I don't want to say quick. I think it will go quick, but it could be completely. Yeah, that was my first consideration. Is like, will this go fast enough for us to play these back to back tonight, or should we just go ahead and, you know, decompress, think about it, take a week, and and do the re- and do the reverse. And I, I think that's probably the case because I, you and I are going to we're going to overthink this a lot, and the die yeah, roll is going to stymie us all the time. So yep. with that, good luck to you, sir. I will let you take the you. the first initiative, and uh, we will be off and running. Yep. Here we go. Uh, first initiative. I'm going to take. Okay, Forrest can take everybody. So all three divisions are going to go to fatigue one. Two die plus three for Forrest is a six, is a nine. Okay. okay Buford is going to take off with. Uh, Crossland's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Well, he could have gone a little shorter, but doesn't matter. He ends up in the same spot. And Bell and Buford are going to go to the same place. Armstrong and Ross with Forrest and Jackson are going to go up here to the Cotton Gin, I think. And try to control that little maze of intersections there. What to do with Chalmers? Let's go this way with him. One. Seven, uh, just initiatives, right? From here That's on it. Out. And it's Confederate. Well, I think the thing to do is to take all these guys to fatigue two, getting all everybody under forest, and they're going to build Abatis. Okay, so they've dug in a little bit. Initiative, all oh, mine again. Uh, Linville and the Colored Church. Okay, well, we'll take. Waffled of Teague 1. He's just going to make a men move back to Linville. Initiative. Low ties go to the Union, I believe. Yep. Okay. Yep. Let me see, see what you're here. Do to me here. Yeah. You've, you, I mean, you've done more or less what I would do. You've got three possibilities of, of approach. You've covered them directly. So how do I... Solve a problem like Maria. Hmm. And the question was, you know, do I go, does the line, should it be Biggsville, Parsonage, Locust Hill? Right, how close do you go? Should it be Gibsonville through, I can't really read that, something Mill and Campbell Station? You know, where should that line be? I chose a middle path. We'll see what happens. I think uh, the first thing I'm going to do is we'll activate Croxton, Harrison, and Hammond to two with a Wilson. Uh, here's their movement of plus two. That's 12. Nice. And I think Wilson will go with them. So let's see. How do I want to do this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, and let's just go overland an extra five to eleven there. We'll do that. Uh, and then Wilson will go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, just can't get there from here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Okay. Initiative. It's yours. Okay, you're heading that way with Wilson. Forgot about Waffle. I was looking at all my cab units. He's going to go to Fatigue 2, and he's going to build Abatis. Pull out those spades, brothers. And he's going to dig in on Linville, but he has to watch Colored Church, too. But you have to be an infantry. To take it's got to be infantry, right? So. Okay, so, yeah, okay, so initiative. Yours. Uh, Wilson will activate Hammond to three now. Here is his movement plus two. And it is an eight. Here's his extended march. He's okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there. Okay. Initiative. It's yours. Let's do this. Forrest will activate Armstrong. Take him to T3. Two die plus three. Uh, nine. Uh, I think I'll send Forrest with him. Here's his extend march. So three, he's okay. Armstrong's gonna go, Forrest is gonna go with him. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine. Campbell Station. The exit you get off to go to my house. Just not there. <laughs> really? Yeah. The, um, the flanker has become the flanked. Yeah. Sauce for the goose. Okay, man. that creek does not cross it. Okay, initiative. Mm. Yours. This. Let's take Hammond to four. We'll get out of that precarious situation there with uh, four. So here's the movement plus two. That's a seven. Here's his extended march now of plus one. He's okay. Fine. And he'll go there. Okay. Okay. Initiative uh, it is high ties, so Confederate. Okay. I'm going to pass again. All right. Wood will activate Beatty. There is their movement of plus one. That's a three. So the streak continues. We go one, two, and three. <laughs> Initiative. It's yours. Okay. Forrest is going to activate Crossland to fatigue three. He's going to put up a no, uh, you have to tell me if I can't do this. I'm gonna put up. A, he's not gonna move. He's just gonna put up a flanks refuse marker. It's still considered a march, so he'll have to make an extended. Extend march. Yep. Can Forrest transfer to him despite the fact he's not marching? Yes, he is. It is a march action, so he can transfer to him. Yes. Okay, Forrest will transfer to him. Here's his EM, and he has to flip, but he does get to put up a flanks refuse marker. Does. Initiative. It's mine again. Oh, I'm going to pass again. All right. I will have Hatch activate Coon and Stewart to two. There's their movement. Plus one. Yeah. That's the Hatch I know and love. <laughs> <laughs> so we get four. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Okay, initiative. It's yours again. I'm gonna pass again. Uh, Wood will activate Baby and uh, and the other two. Yeah, he'll activate all three. Okay, and there, Baby goes to two. Uh, here's movement to plus one. Uh, ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. As Al used to say, yeah, yeah. 
All right, so we'll go one, two, and one, and two. All right, initiative. It is a low tie, so that's mine. Yep. All right, so we'll activate all three of them again. There's their movement plus one. Eek, 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 ugh. All right, here's Beatty's extended march. He's okay. Uh, so, one, two to there. Would Forrest like to move? I have one movement point remaining. Uh, well, we'll stay there. Okay. Uh, go one, two, three, one, two, and three. Initiative. It's yours. Okay. I'll pass. All right. Uh, Wood will attempt an assault with Beatty on Forest Bell and Crossland. So I will go to fatigue level four. What would they like to do? So that's going to be a plus six. You got all six X's covered. Plus four. 10 to 2 and a half is plus 3, right? 3. So, so, yeah. so, so assault ratio and flank. Yeah. Forest doesn't. I'm going, that's just too many, too many modifiers on that. So we are going to retreat. Crossland goes to 4. Bell goes to T. Three. Here's their cab retreat. Not that. No, it doesn't even apply, right? Because you're doing an assault. Well, you still have to roll it because you could get the one. Okay, one. Right. Yeah, you're fine. He does not. Uh, Bell will flip to disorganized. He can retreat four to six hexes. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. He's going to go all the way back to there. Now I make the assault attempt and see if it's successful, I can advance automatically. And it's successful, it so I will advance automatically. Okay. Uh, initiative. It's mine again. Wood will activate Kimball to three. And here's his movement. Um, okay, so extended march now of plus one. Ah, come on. I just need one thing to go my way. <laughs> come on. All right, so they will go one and two there, and you have a cav retreat option. Um, and I have no movement points left. Yeah, we'll, we'll stay stay for now. That was initiative, and that is a high tie, so that's yours. Okay. Um, yeah, interesting. CR5, just go ahead and bug out now. I think so. So Jackson's going to activate Rost T3. Here's his movement. Seven, extended march. He's okay. I think we're going to go one, two. Three, four, five, and six to here. Initiative. Mine again. I hate to take Armstrong to T4, but I'm going to. He's going to go to T4. He's doing this on his own. Two dice. Seven, eight. Extended march plus one, I think, for him. Yes, for going to four. He's okay. One, two, three, four, five. No, he has no artillery. So I'll put him in the woods there. Yeah, no harm, no foul, right? Uh, initiative. It's yours. I will have Hatch activate Coon and Stewart to three. Here's their movement. Plus one. 
<laughs> I gotta get rid of some. I forgot to mute some of these guys' encroachment that's not doing right now. That's right. Oh, I'm just sitting here lamenting my fate with the vassal die roller. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> cool. It is cruel. All right. So, uh, Coon first. He's okay. And Stuart. He's okay. So they'll go one, two, and th three to there. Initiative. It's low tie, so it's mine. Take them to four. So those two again. Here's their movement plus one. Wow. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Hopefully two those are all the like two sixes. We got all the sixes <laughs> out of the way now. Okay. Um. So we'll do. Uh, we'll do this since this does affect things. We'll do proper order. Uh, Coon will move first with Hatch. Here's his extended plus one. Plus two rather. He's okay. Fine. So. One. Two. Seven. Twelve there. Stuart. Go. Extended March plus two. He's okay. One, two, three to there. Uh, initiative. It's yours. Okay. Um, take Chalmers to fatigue three, or Biffle. We'll take Chalmers to like Biffle to fatigue three. I don't need any. Um, this is his entrenchments and two die plus two. It's a ten. Here's his EM roll, and he has to flip. That makes him practically useless now. He's going to go one two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll put him back in Linville. Commence the piling on. Yeah. I can't see stopping him anywhere. That was actually with three guys next turn. He's just going to get hammered. Um, Initiative. It's mine again. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pass. All right. Wilson activate Harrison. Here is his movement, plus two. Six. Um, here's his extended march. He will not transfer over. Yeah, so we will flip. And go three. Four and five to there. Initiative. It's yours. Yeah, I guess I might as well have Waffle build some entrenchments. He's going to increase his fatigue. He's going to add his entrenchments. Initiative. It's yours. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to. Try to salvage Croxton, keep him fresh. Uh, so I'm going to pass. Okay. Yeah, I'll pass as well. All right then. So, 30 minutes down, end of turn one. We recover. So ends the first half of the game. Uh, verifying we are on the last turn, 24 December. Okay. Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Will I get any good presents this year? I hope. <laughs> um. So Hatch will stay where he is. Uh, Wood is fine for the moment. Yeah, Wilson will stay with Hammond. So I'm good. Okay, I'll take Forrest. We'll transfer to Armstrong. This is it for me? I believe. Yeah, Buford might stay where he is. Jackson will stay where he is. Chalmers, of course, will stay where he is. Chicken in every pot and a cavalry with a leader. Yep, basically. All right. Uh, well, here is our 
last first initiative, and it is mine. I think we'll have Hatch activate Stuart and Coon to two. Here is their movement, plus one to nine. We have an extended march for Coon, plus one. He's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to there. And Stuart will go extended march. He flips. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. He'll just stay there in the woods and block that line. All right, initiative. It's yours. Okay. Um, uh, we're going to do several different things here. Um, that will be an amazing feat. I cannot <laughs> wait to see it. Uh, okay, Forrest is in command radius of all his guys, so they're all going to pick up a fatigue. Biffle goes to fatigue one under Jackson. Ross goes to fatigue one, so they will not need extend marches. Armstrong's going to go to fatigue three. He's just going to build an entrenchment. He's only going to two. Or two, I'm sorry, yeah, two. Crossland, under Crossland and Bell, Crossland is going to fatigue two. So he will have to do, he's going to move and do an extend march. Bell is going to fatigue one. He will not need to do an extend march. Here's the movement for the guys that are moving. Is a nine. It's 12 movement. And only one guy needs an extend march that would cross them, so we'll do that extend march, get that out of the way. To two, he's okay. Okay, we're going to do left to right. Biffle will go first, and he's just going to throw up a flanks or fuse marker. And Forrest is going to transfer to him. Uh, Ross and Jackson are just going to take a min move back to Lorraine. I'm going to have Armstrong is going to build entrenchments. He's going to go to Abatisse. And Buford. With Bell and Crossland, they're going to go one, two, three, four, five. They're going to go into Colored Church. Initiative. It's yours. Hate to see a wasted 6 1 split. Yeah. And the one right above that was a 1 6 at one point. Mm hmm. All right. Uh,. Wilson's going to activate Harrison, Croxton, and Hammond. Uh, Hammond will need a, an extended march. Here's plus two to this roll. <laughs> Just cannot get anything going tonight. Yeah, yeah it's like there's rain. Wow. <laughs> Good gosh. All right. It's a rain uh, turn without rain. All right. Harrison goes one, two, to there. Wilson's going to go extended march for him. <sighs> Come on. Hey. Da, 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 da. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And Croxton is fresh, so he will just go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Initiative. It's yours. Well, just because we've never done this. Are you going to attempt an assault with Forrest over infantry? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> just because we haven't done it. I um. mean, eight <laughs> scenarios and we haven't even used his gifts. Um. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to take Waffle to fatigue. One. Uh, this is going to be an attempt by Forrest on Coon under Hatch. And... Just Waffle, I just read that he does not have to have cab. He can just do infantry by itself, one infantry division, and that's Waffle. Right. Here we go. Uh, one die to see if this comes off. And, well, that's just annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Forrest thinks highly of himself, but no one else does. Just, uh, okay. Uh, ain't it. Hey, Chores. Okay. This is a, we were just covering a special rule for force. Can initiate an assault action with an 
an infantry division or two brigades is what I attempt to do. So, it's very, very important that things move just so from here on out. But I, you know, I have to adjust with the chaos of war. Wilson will activate Harrison and Croxton to two. Here's their movement plus two. <laughs> of course. All right. Um, Harrison's extended march is a plus one. He's okay. So he'll go there. Croxton does not have an extended march. He will go one, two, three. That's a restricted Zox, so I can go through it. Mm -hmm. Four, five, six to there. Okay, initiative. It's yours. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> that is the mantra of this game. What's the worst <laughs> that can happen? <laughs> You've got to get your infantry down here yet, and it is General Wood. He's standing right One, here, two, man. <laughs> He's within earshot of that. So I think the best use of this initiative is for Forrest to take all his guys within range, which is going to be Ross, Biffle, Bell, and Crossland. They're all going to gain a fatigue, and they're all going to build Abatis where they sit. Uh, Initiative. It's yours. Okay, hold that thought. Battle Cat is requesting to come in and see this. Ah, yeah. Battle Dogs have come in and out all night here. They didn't drink of water. She's a very vocal cat. And mm. when I open the door, she grunts like, Ugh, it's about time. <laughs> right? Yeah, I, I, I felt like I could talk to our cat. And right? She'd ask her questions and she'd have different oh, yells yeah. depending on, you know. Exactly. Is this really what you want to do? <laughs> yeah. I give different answers depending on, depending on our mood. All right. So here begins the tale of Schadenfreude that is infantry movement. So Wood will activate all three. Beatty will need an extended march. So here is their movement. Plus one. It's a four. Yeah. The average that you're looking for. It is. Alright. Um, <laughs> so we're going to send Wood over to Elliot. And Kimball will move first. One, two, three. We'll go that way. Four. And then Beatty will have an extended march plus one. Of course. Of course. Why would I ever get my hopes up in this game? Uh, one, two, three, four. And then Wood has fresh Elliot here, so he will go one, two, three, and four. Initiative. It's yours. Yeah, I'm just going to keep building entrenchments, so everybody's going to go up another level. So knit, mine. Now I'm just gonna keep, keep digging, line. boys. Keep digging. I'll take the guys that can go one more level. Might as well. Hope I get another shot at Waffle. You knit. It's yours. There's another six one. Oh. Another wasted six one. Yeah. A lot of ones. Oh, yeah. One. Six yeah. ones, one fours. All right, we'll have Kimball go to two. Here's his movement, straight up. It's three, here's his extended, plus one. It's okay. So I think he'll go one, two, three to there. Jackson will stand. Okay, All right, uh, initiative. It's mine. Uh, we'll have Elliot go to two with wood, which is movement, plus one, four, one, two, three, and four. Initiative, mine again. Yeah, this uh, turn two is going to play out pretty fast, I think. All right, Elliot to three, 
Here's his movement. Six. Here's his extended march plus one. Ah, come on. <laughs> I could cry. Ah. Let this be a lesson to you, folks. This is exactly how it works. To play the Union, you will cry. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Very so much. we got one, two, and we have four left over. So what would Armstrong like to do? So that's five to... Five to, yeah. to three, it looks like. Uh, yeah, five to three. Uh, I've got uh, all, all hexes covered now. Oh, Kimball comes in there. Um, yep. You know what? Let's stand. We'll see how this plays out. Uh, it's yep. going to be a plus four, plus five. Let me do the math one more time. Yeah. Plus five, right? Uh, let's see. So I've got... Uh, so it's a plus two for tactical, plus one for prepared. That's three. And then uh, I've got all six hexes covered. So that would be a plus four because it's all infantry right, attack. Four, so plus seven, plus seven. Uh, that's, that's right, infantry. That's what I wasn't taking into account. That's. Uh, does that change your? It does. Plus seven makes it uh, silly, I think, for me to stand. So yeah, we'll go to T three. Lose the abatis, and uh, we'll see if we can. And you should get a plus two to your roll because you have three combat value, I think. Two. I'm a two. Well, you had the abatis, so so it, that counts. Oh, before, okay. Here's the die roll. Three. So that, you said that makes that a five, so you lose two. And I have to treat four or six hexes. So let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four to there. Okay. I'll stop at the uh, colored church. I will go to there. Initiative. It's yours. We'll waffle. We'll dig in a little more. Increases his entrenchments. He's now abreast with two. So you're now eight and eight and three quarters. Uh, in it. It's mine. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to give Armstrong. I'll get his abatis and give him a little bit more half point to that. And I think. Uh, I'm just checking my guys. Well, Waffle still has, I don't know if Waffle builds twice more. I don't think that's going to give him any more strength, is it? So I'm going to roll for initiative. And I think at this point, i am got nothing of, of use. Okay, so you'll be just passing until the end of the game. I'm just going to pass and let you... All right, so it's a lot, of assault. a lot of setup and exposition. <laughs> a lot of sound and fury signifying nothing. Yeah. This is definitely going to be a puzzle, because I've got currency to spend, but how to do it appropriately, uh, that is the key. So, let's start this little escapade here with, if I don't get, just pardon me for thinking out loud, if I don't get... Oh, go ahead. That's, uh, what... that's apparently what these videos are for. <laughs> I was going to say, when we don't think out loud, then... then... We get questions in the comments. Why didn't you do it Why this way? Why didn't you do it this way? All right. Yeah, so if I... I get caught up on those, by the way. Oh, I'm, I'm saddened to hear that you are not watching these with, with dutiful obligation. All right. I need to either get one of those pretty, pretty spaces with tons of people standing on them, or I think perhaps the best attempt here is... Let's have Wilson activate Croxton to two, or three, rather. Uh, here's his plus two. Eh, it's just never quite enough. Seven. Uh, he will He will just send Croxton on his own. Yes. So he'll go... One two to there. Uh, extended march. He's okay. Initiative. Oh, uh, would you like me to continue rolling initiatives just to see, or are you just gonna... I always have that possibility. The question is, 
Yeah, let's roll for a net. Sure. I'm, I'm going to pass, but okay. there may be an opportunity for me to attempt a, a, yeah. another assault with force. Absolutely. Okay. So uh, here... that may come into play, possibly not yet. Okay. Uh, so here's the initiative. It's mine. All right. Uh, Croxton will go to four. And here's his movement. Uh, so low. Yeah, he's so low now. And of course, he gets a great one. And then he's just gonna go one over the hill up the front. Uh, well, it's it. There's a river there now, so he's. he's oh, down, yeah. right. So extended march. He is okay. So he'll go one, two, three, four, and five to there. Okay. Um, all right. Initiative. It's yours. Um, we'll pass. I'll pass. We Stuart will march to three. Here's his movement. Seven. Here's his extended march of plus two now. He's okay. Yeah. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Initiative. It's yours. I'm going to pass. Okay. Stuart will go to four and build an abatee. All right, initiative. Yours again. I'm going to pass this time as well. All right. We'll, we'll take a couple of cracks at this, and this may hasten the end for me as far as points go, but we'll give it a shot. Um, Wood will activate Elliot to four. Here's his movement plus one. Yeah, that's that's about what I expected. <sighs> la, 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 la. So he will get an extend march there of plus two. Of course, he will lose. Uh, eight on eight is is that two? Yeah, disorganized manpower six to nine loses two. Okay, so down two, and that brings you me under your threshold there of three. Oh no, it's three and three quarters, but still not enough to do anything. So he's going to go one, two, three to there. Uh, initiative. Yours. Well, he's a four. He's a T four, so he's done. Yes, he is. So I will pass. So <laughs> activated Harrison. I grumbled a bit. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I figured that. <laughs> um, and then I failed my extended march, so that made it even better. And that's okay. Harrison is is right there. That's cool. Okay. Initiative. It is high ties. That's yours. Um, we will continue. I, we, I will continue to pass here. All right. I think uh, basically I'll pass until you get an infantry unit next to forces hex that gotcha. has fatigues. Gotcha. Left. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, Wilson will act. will activate Hammond to three. Here's his movement. Plus two. It's 11. Uh, here's his extended march of plus two. He's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You can get there from here. Okay. All right. Initiative. It's mine again. All right. So now we'll take a crack at. Jackson's a two, I'm a two, so Wilson will attempt an assault with Hammond on Jackson. Yeah. yeah. So here is his attempt. It comes off. All right. So we're looking at uh, manpower's tied, tactical's tied. Uh, I've got a plus two flank which is just reduced all the way down to be a minimum of one. Of, I would get a plus one, that's right. Yes. Um, yeah, even if you back things off, I still think right. you get a plus yeah. one because... So it looks like a plus two attack. Uh, 
Uh, no, you've got you've got artillery in there, so you've got two artillery in rolling, so it's a plus one attack. Uh, yes. So we'll we'll go through the numbers again for those of you following along at home. It's one for assault, uh, one for final flank, and uh, minus one for artillery. So I see it as a plus one. Just need one better than you to hopefully score a manpower loss. So here goes. Plus one union on the left. And no dice, baby. No dice. Because dice hate me. Minus one. Big F for me, but I'm already tired. And it should just be a D for me, right? Yep, just yep. a D. Okay. So Wilson misses his shot. No harm, no foul. We tried. Okay, so let us. Oh, we need a one-two punch here, so uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to take a couple more shots at it. So Wood is gonna activate Kimball to three. Here's and his, he can do that because he can go through. He can go through Harrison. Harrison. No, Harrison. Yeah, uh, had to build that bridge with that snake eyes. Yep. yep. Um, okay, so here's his movement plus one. There we go. Oh, nice. So, uh, extended march now of plus two. He's okay. Fine. He will transfer. What would Jackson like to do at this point? Did a manpower loss on Ross. That's doesn't. You've got to get a hex. Right. Yeah. That's that's why I'm saying it's this is a one-two punch kind of thing. Um. So we're gonna stand. Hope I can fatigue you out. Okay. And. Then you'll have to try to win with B B A D Betty. Betty, yeah. Warren Beatty. Yep. Um so okay, so end. so once again it's a one for assault, two more for final flank, one more for ratio, uh one more for tactical, so that's five up and then one down for artillery, so that's a plus four. Make sure Yes, final plus four. Okay. So plus four, here we go. Come on, baby. Union on the left. It's plus two. Which, uh, hopefully, that's not a manpower loss for me, but I suspect it is. Plus two. No, you're a five. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just a DA. It's a DR for me. So I lose my entrenchments. And you've got roads, so no manpower losses. Yeah. And friendlies. You can go two hexes. So he'll fall back to the colored church. Pile in with them. And that hex is yours if you want it, but I believe you're disorganized. Yeah, so you're you're done for the day. Yes. Kimball. Yes, indeed. So um sadly I have to take that hex because otherwise it would be a massive roadblock in the woods. So yep. but now he's outside of Beatty's range, so that's terrible too. Okay, so here's the next initiative. It's mine. Uh so Beatty will march to three. Here's his movement. It's four. Here's his extended march of plus two. He's okay. So one, two, three. And that's as far as he can go. All right, initiative. That's one five. It's yours. We'll pass. We'll see. Okay. The last, last die roll of the, <laughs> the night, last, I believe. <laughs> I believe it will be the last die roll of the night. So Wood will activate Beatty. Here's his movement. Yeah. Ow. There you go. So, uh, Vassal Die Roller. <laughs> Always. Always with the ones. All right. So, uh, Extended March is now plus four. Uh, he's going to just lose a manpower. He goes in there. And the only. I, I do have one more possibility. So, he'll go over there. Initiative uh, it is high ties. So that's yours. What you're, oh, you're thinking an assault with Coon? That's the only thing I have left. And that's just going to be manpower losses, right? Yes, because I cannot capture. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll see how you, what, what you're thinking here. So yeah, I'll pass just to see what... <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be... I mean, even if I were to get you to retreat through 04... Well, you could retreat back to the Colored Church through forest um that would still be a manpower loss per so that's two manpower so that's six points potentially 
Um, not enough to put me over the threshold. So I believe we are done here, sir. Okay. Yeah. So good game. Yeah, this is one I'm not sure that that was. But well, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> one, 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 once again, I managed to completely, totally surround the Confederates, yeah. but I can't <laughs> get the, the job done. Yes, and and I love that it's it makes other people in the comments going, well, wait a minute, no, <laughs> you won that. Like, no, no, I didn't. Not for the scenario. So yeah, yeah, this is uh, this has kind of become a, a theme with me here lately. Uh. So on yeah. paper, then officially we have no manpower losses. It's a zero game, which means uh, if you've got your book handy, that I'm guessing is a Confederate decisive victory. Decisive victory. Look at that. Forrest holds out. Silly. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll take it because uh, it's good for my morale. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, this is. I kind of thought this would. You know, I was. I was kind of hoping to not end up doing what I did to just pile everybody in those two hexes because um, that seems like such a... Well, I won't say the word I'm thinking of because then you'll have to bleep it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I think play, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> to play the game, but it was kind of just kind of how it went. You know, it was like, okay, I couldn't really see... I was trying to hope to find a counterattack and I just never saw it. And so I just kept falling back, falling back, falling back, falling back. But that is a that is a fighting withdrawal, and I think yeah. that's what the cavalry is for. Even if you're not doing a true cavalry screen, yeah. uh, in in some cases there where I was right next to you, you said, "Well, I know what's coming, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of dodge first, and yeah. and then you just you move that line back and you move that line back, and that's that's a really good i mean i will probably employ something similar to that next week my here here's my beef with this <laughs> and i'm not even talking about the game the scenario or anything i'm talking about luck and life now i've been showered with many great lucky things but in this one particularly i'm not asking for sixes all the time i'm just asking for <laughs> you know yeah, you were you were clutch moments. It's like, look, all I need is here. Can I have a two? No, you're gonna get a one. That's what you yeah. get, and you're gonna like it. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you had multiple one tip short. It right. Was just, <sighs> I just or... need. I, I'm trying to set something up, it, and and it's just it it fails every time. So or initiative went my right, way right again, and that's kind of been lately. I'd say the last four or five scenarios. That has been crucial for me. Yeah, and and I don't, I don't. I needed to get, and I got it. I don't like to depend on dice luck for some of these. I mean, some of the scenarios, it's just you, you have to go in there and you take your chances. That's what you do. This one, I, I have things to do. I have an agenda. I have to set things up, and then every single turn, it was just like, no, 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 you're gonna flip now. No, like, oh, come on. As you pointed out, these short scenarios, just one or two of those not going your way is yeah. enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That. It's a little disheartening. I mean, I, I, I definitely want to, I can't wait to play this again next week, but it, it makes me wonder, it's like, am, am I doing the right thing here? Am I doing the optimal strategy of moving these piecemeal or all at once? Because when I roll them all at once, that's when I roll the one, and if if I roll in piecemeal, then that gives you a moment to come around and, and, I mean, that was great where I had set up the flank with Wilson and then Forrest said, oh no, no. You know, the hunter becomes the prey, and oh. that was great. That was that was classic cavalry tactics here on this, so uh, it's, uh, you know, it's like alright, well, I, I had a plan, now I've got to adapt the plan, now... I need to move around things, and every time you try to move around flanks, that's when you're going to get the poor dice rolls. And so yep. you you can actually, as the opponent, you can kind of count on that. And that's when I that's what I do whenever I have when I'm the defender, and I know that person needs to take all of these moving parts and set up all these elaborate flanks and attacks and stuff, and then they have to take the chance with the die roller itself. I'm always going to count on that, you know, because mm-hmm. I know 
from my own experience that there are so many little variables there that something is going to fall out at the worst time for that person. So I'm probably going to be okay. And if I throw up an abatis here or there or put a flanks refused, I'm probably going to be able to wiggle out of something because of chance. But it's just, it's so, it's so horrifying <laughs> when you're the union and you've got things to do and places to be. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it uh, you know, last episode, you know, I chose you know after watching kind of how we played out the episode before that. If you haven't watched that, do so. Uh, you know, I said, okay, I'm just gonna go hell for leather. Right. And I saw the comments were like, why did you go hell for leather? <laughs> well, because it seemed like the thing. It seemed like the thing to do. <laughs> right. It was such a good idea at the time. I think as a union, especially on these, in you know, I think. We call these chase scenarios or retreat scenarios. Even this, where you should get 50-50 initiatives, just doesn't seem like it falls that way. Uh, no, I mean, statistically, it is going to, it is going to, well, yeah, you're right. That's right. Even with the balance factor, um, it does seem like it's just more often, and I, as a Confederate player, I tend to count on that. Like, ah, he's not going to get a streak until you yeah. do, you know. Yeah, until you do, and then it, it, it goes the opposite direction. But that's right, exactly. And like, and tonight you were like said one pip short. Like, wow, well, that's and, exactly the pip I needed to see. For exactly. Me. Well, and it it was not even fighting. I'm I'm fighting. I don't know why I'm even complaining about this. You guys know this. I'm fighting the die roller. I'm fighting the EM roll. I'm fighting the low movement. Oh. And I'm fighting yeah. the terrain because the roads are, you know, you, you can't get yeah. the You can't get there from yeah. here. <laughs> but yet, if you, the weird thing about that, I think, looking at the map, is it seems like you should be able to. I mean, it's not like there's a shortage of roads. No. It's just they don't go where you need them to go at the <laughs> right. specific you, time. You, 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 have, <laughs> you have to count on going off-road at some yeah. point. And at that's, some point you gotta, that's just the reality of it. That's just the reality. Yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, this was... Uh, this was great. An inter- interesting scenario. I think it'll be, you know, it's a good intro scenario, I think, for people to play. Yeah. I think so. It, it's weird that it's anticlimactic, where it's like flipping to the last chapter of the book and reading, and it's like you, you know oh. everything has <laughs> literally gone poorly. Yeah. But uh, I I could see this easily being a, a quick two turn scenario uh, for for a tournament play. Yeah. Well, uh, we hope you've enjoyed this exposition and some grumbling. That's that's why we're grognards, right? We're grumblers. <laughs> 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 But take a moment and click subscribe if you've not yet done so, and click that bell so you get the notifications. And if you enjoyed this one, all my ranting and raving aside, give us a thumbs up, because that tells us you like what we're doing. But more than anything, that comment section down there is for your benefit, and we love to hear your feedback. Uh, Good, bad, uh, hopefully not ugly. But uh, if you've got suggestions on how you would have done it, we, we would love to hear that, because it's all right out there for everyone to see. (laughs) <laughs> the poor choices abound on my side. Uh, oh, on mine, on mine as well. We will come back next week, and we will do this again, and I will take the Confederates. Roger will get to uh, experience the joy of moving the Fourth Corps <laughs> south. Good. He got close this time, though. you got to give him credit. He, he did. He did. To the heck. He had <laughs> options, but it's like, oh, all I need is a Five. No, you're gonna get three, and you're gonna just yeah. stop right there with that line. So it's it's wasted. Yeah. Um, well, thank you again for an awesome game tonight, sir. I look forward to next thank week, you. and we hope you will join us. Take care, everybody. Yep. Good night. Good night.